Today we're going to look at a topic that people keep asking about, which is uh, what kernels to use in Gen 2. Um, so this will probably be a free video part series, um, Gen 2 like a pro. So let's start with my favourite one and the one I use on all my systems, the distribution kernel or um, sys kernel Gen 2 kernel bin. Now, a lot of people think that it's not normal to use a binary distro in Gen 2, but it's not 2008 anymore. Fedora done a lot of work back around then where everything's a module now, so you're only loading the things that your system needs. So it's not really a bloat as people would call it. It's just a good kernel which handles everything for you. Now there are obviously some edge cases where making your own is a lot better, but for a general desktop system, I think this is the one you want. So let's look into doing it here. All you need to do is emerge verbose ask this kernel gen2 kernel bin. Now quickly just before we start the difference between the um, gen2 kernel and kernel bin is the, the binary is already done for you. It's the same file unless you've got a need to change anything but most people don't so just save yourself some time isn't it? So you're ending up with the same file, why bother? There we go. Now, when you're updating a system, you may find that it um, complains about install kernel and even the drawer cut module. Basically what this use flag does is it um, it tells voltage to rebuild your init RAM FS every time. It's really easy to fix. All you need to do is when you use the verbose ask it and say, would you like to add these changes to your config? You type in the word yes, you run dispatch config you read the thing and you just press U to accept the new change and that's done everything for you. It's not hard, um, it's just if you're not used to using dispatch config it might be a little bit difficult. Um, difficult is the wrong word, it might just seem a little bit foreign to you. But now if we rerun this, we're going to see that it's going to install and our kernel is going to be built ready to go. You then just do your bootloader options to run and everything's done no drama got a working kernel and yeah we'll have a good time so yeah please make this your number one choice and then if you feel like you need something else we'll look at the other ones but we'll do that in a different um a different video which is coming up anyway long time no see i guess and i'll uh, see you on the next one keep compiling everyone